everyone. It's Jonathan Mathis, the sports judge. It is October. As you can see behind me, I'm watching the Phillies take on the Braves. Game one of the NLDS. But, you know, I thought I'll come on this morning to check on Mets fans. Because I know Mets fans are having it pretty rough right now. I know times have been very hard for Mets fans. They're, they're mourning the death of their baseball team and you know it's been it's been a, a lost season for the New York Mets you know the New York Mets a lot of people had them winning the whole thing I know I did if you flash back to uh, June when they were playing uh, consistent baseball and when they were on that hot stretch where they were winning games without two of their best top pitchers in the starting rotation without both Jacob DeGroom and Max Forster you know, you had high hopes for this team, you know, and a lot of people really believed in the New York Mets, but the New York Mets, they fooled us. They really had us fooled. Uh, they they told a, a lie, you know. Um, their, fairy, their fairy tale season turned out to be another nightmare, you know, and they had become an internet punchline. You know, there were memes floating around the internet making fun of their season. I mean, this this is crazy to think that the Mets are eliminated from the postseason. The Mets are straight trash. They're garbage. That's that that's that's plain and simple. They're a trash, trashy team. You know? And just when you just when you thought they were about to turn the corner, new ownership, the new owner, he's willing to finally spend money. You know, he's not shy to bet on big names and, and, and do whatever it takes to put together a winning roster and the Mets still find a way to blow it. You know, the Mets had the best record basically all season in, in the National League East particularly. They were in first place until, until you know, the, the final five games of the season and they gave up the division to the Atlanta Braves on the final weekend of the season. You know, crazy. It's probably one of the worst collapses in MLB history. But they are who they are. They're New York Mets. And I'm pretty sure as a New York Mets fan, you have had your heart broken plenty of times. And most fans by now probably prepare themselves for a huge letdown. Because once again, the New York Mets let everyone in Queens down. And that's another thing. You lose to a Padres team that won 88 games, an upstart team. A team that a lot of people didn't think would make it to the playoffs. They come in to Queens and... And they beat you. They beat you in all three games. At home. The Mets lose at home. All three games were played in Queens. And the Mets couldn't win one game. It's crazy because you have two perennial aces at the top of your starting rotation. You have stellar pitching. But Max Schwarzer gives up four home runs in the postseason. Which is hard to believe. But... It shouldn't be that hard to believe when this guy has pitched with a dead arm before. Uh, pitcher's fatigue. Jacob DeGrom hadn't looked like himself in recent weeks. Had been struggling. Uh, you know, was giving up a lot of hits. Didn't look like the Jacob DeGrom uh, that a lot of people fear. Just didn't look like himself. You know, they have power hitting in their lineup. They, they have big-time hitters. Where was Pete Alonzo? Where was Jeff McNeil? Where were those guys? They, they suddenly disappeared, you know, in the big moment. When the Mets needed them to come through in a big moment, they couldn't. The Mets just couldn't get the job done. So now the Mets are going home. After the Padres eliminated them in the wild card series this past weekend. 
The Padres will now face the Dodgers. Game one is tonight. Julio Urias gets the ball for the Dodgers. We'll see how well this series plays out for both the Dodgers and the Padres. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my video. That would mean a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. Subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Like it. Share it. Get it out there. Talk to you guys very soon. Uh, by now, Mr. and Mrs. Met are holding their heads down in shame. In utter disbelief. Wondering what the hell just happened to the New York Mets. I'll talk to you guys very soon.